everyone, this is Glenn is Benny and Steve on to Bounce One and Now, and it's time for a DVD, Blu-ray, and CD update for September 7, 2020. And over the past weekend, I went to the book sale and I got 12 DVDs, 2 Blu-rays, and 14 CDs. Which, for some reason, I was about to do my movie update back on September 5, 2020. But I had to cancel it. But if you want to know why. Um, some of you guys have been wondering on my community tab post and stuff. So about the books that being canceled. So that's the, amazing re- that's the main reason why I want to explain about that. So, And it's been a while that I haven't been to a book sale. So without further ado. Let's just go ahead and get started. Starting off with the DVDs. Also at the first Fast and the Furious movie on Blu-ray. So, now I got the sequel. And I also did get another Fast and the Furious movie, which I'll show in the Blu-rays. In the Blu-ray part. I know Brennan's Movie Corner has this on Blu-ray. So I decided to get this on DVD. And this DVD is from Lionsgate, while the 2000 DVD was released from, from Universal. And there were some 2011 Drew Percent releases, but I found two, which those are interesting finds, so I had to pick it up. But I did get at least two of the 2011 Drew Percent DB, 2000, 2011 Drew Percent Blue A's and stuff, which I found two of them. And I know Brennan's Movie Corner has this on Blu-ray, while others have it on DVD. I do remember watching this movie back in April 2019. This was a great movie. So, now that I have a copy, I'm going to have to watch it again sometime. And the code expires December 4, 2014. And here's an ad for other movies on the back. Which I have Julie and Joya on DVD, and that's a really good movie. I found this one at the book sale. Well, I was gonna get it at Target, but I, I, I didn't. I don't think I. I didn't think I. I don't think I did. So I don't think I should get in, get it at Target. But this print is always the best for me. Not those crappy reprint desk and stuff with like black letters on it. But this one looked really good and funny, so I'm going to have to get that a watch. (laughs) 
purchased from Block from a rental from Blockbuster. Blockbuster date is July 12, 2004. And this received some Oscar nominations for Best Picture. That being up to, um, let's see. That Oscar goes to, that Oscar goes to, um, I might look it up and stuff. But I know this has Oscar nominations for Best Picture. Or, if I'm not mistaken, I think, um, let me see, because I don't want the update to be too long and stuff. Taking forever. Oh, Lord of the Wings, the return of the king. That's right. That Oscar went to The Lord of the Wings, The Return of the King, which is the sequel to the first one. Yeah. So, if, it, if I'm not mistaken, that Oscar went to The Lord of the Wings, The Return of the King. This was originally purchased at Second and Charles, but I didn't get it at, part, at Second and Charles. I got that at the tape. I got that at the book sale. There are a few sequels to these movies, which I don't think I'm going to check out or not, but I don't think I am. Because the sequels are not meant to be very good. So, I don't think I'm going to get those. And that's for... How on a Humor go to White Castle, which I will get down on DVD. Same with Blade, Tr Blade Trinity and, and uh, the other few play movies. This one, I, I know it's really funny and hilarious. And it looks really awesome as well. And at the beginning, they do, they do like, the trailer parodies and stuff. Which does look really funny. So when I watch the CBD, they will be shown on there before the actual logos. Now here's the season set, and it's a for and it's a former rental from the library. I have seen bits and pieces at the show at the show back in middle school in 2013. This looked like a very great show, so gonna have to get that a watch. Maybe watch the entire show to see what I think for myself. There were a few former rentals that were that had like 2011 Drew Percent releases, but I had to pass them on. Because there will be something that I can get on Blue Eye. Here's Disc 1. Disc 2. Disc 3. Disc 4. Disc 5. And Disc 6. 6. And pretty much they might have been. They might have been scratched. Or I'll check later. If they'll still play fine. And now here's the last DVD for this update. This is a file pick about Johnny Cash. And I do like Johnny Cash, so I had to pass this up. My parents said it's a really good movie, so... One of those I'll have to give it a watch and see what I think.
This is the look. This is the this is the pink. This is a pain in the butt. This is a pain in the butt to get this DVD out of there. And this looks like a record. And add for the gospel road. And the black back of it's blank, so I'm not gonna bother showing it. And now on to the two blue eyes, which the first one was brand new factory seal when I got it. And I also got the fifth one as well. And I'm not going to bother showing the ads and stuff, so I'm just going to show you the blue eyes and the, the disc itself. So, yeah. Now here's the last blue eye for this update. I originally got this with the slip cover, but I totally forgot, so 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 there's no need for me to get the slip cover of it. But at least I have the movie itself, so that's right. The here's the blue eye and the DVD, which is which the discs are very dusty, so I'm gonna have to clean those off soon. And the code expires on December 31st, 2019. And I have a 4K Ultra HD, which I don't know if I'm going to get a 4K Ultra HD Blue Eye player or TV or not. Because I don't have 4K Ultra HD. Anyways, I have Menace still on Blue Eye. Plus, I will get San Andreas, Mad Max Fury Road, Batman vs. Superman, and the Heart of Sea, and Creed soon. I am so not getting Point Break 2015. Because we all know that film was crap. So I'm not picking it up. And now on to the 14 CDs. Thought this one was interesting. So that's that's the, that's the reason why I decided to get it. And it's in the sleep though. Now just because it's a 2016 release doesn't mean that I'm collecting CDs from 1979 till 2000 up till 2012 but this was pretty cool that i found the cd in the sleeve and plus i do like blink 182 they don't have i haven't heard the one of the singles on there but at least i heard all the small things by blink 182 and i've heard of all the small things dang it and mostly some of their other songs but this was a pretty cool find that i found a blink 182 cd and there's this booklet, which I'm going to feel like showing. Oh, this actually looks like a poster, so I don't think I'm going to show that. Because I don't want the video to be too long and stuff. Thought this one was interesting, so I had to pick it up. And it has great scores, though. Especially the 2001 theme, which is really awesome. But I decided, why not, as of this CD, I'm only collecting, um... 1 to 3 2011, I mean, 1 to 3 2013 Drew Percent CDs and stuff. Now, on to, now back to showing this CD. Or, maybe I'll have a small 2013 Drew Percent CD collection. Or, if it's on digital download, I'm going to get rid of that CD, but whatever. Anyways, here's the songs. And I'll put one of these CDs on Spotify. Just like with the Guns N' Roses CD, the CDs like that, I'll know. 
Although if you put it right here, if you put it right over here, I mean, if you put the CD like, like here, if I if I show the CD like this. Y'all fixing the way it's what's supposed to be. I haven't heard one of the CD songs on there, but I've only heard their biggest hit part, Some Sugar On Me. But yeah, this was an interesting find. My parents used to listen to Hootie and the Blowfish all the time. Even a lot. And I also, and I might have even heard it when I was little. And I know Darius Rucker is on this. Now the next CD was Brand New Factory Seal when I got it. I started listening to Jana Kramer in 2000, in the summer of 2020, and so far her song "Why Y'all Want It" is a really good song. So now I got this album, I'm gonna have to listen to listen to it, listen to it again sometime. This one's a really good one on there. I I only I only heard of Leonardo Lewis's song Bleeding Love, which I do like Leona Lewis, but the only song I heard on there is Bleeding Love. I heard that song as a kid back then, back when music was good, when music was so good. I like Mumford and Son, so I had to pick this up. And I do like the song I Will Wait on there, which is on track three. And for some reason, when I got the CD, this CD, I know, it was in a pretty bad condition, as you can see. But... But hopefully the disc will still play fine and that's all matters most. Yeah, I don't need to be saying that a lot. Anyways, here's the songs on there. Some of the CDs were very scratched though, sometimes. So that's why I had to pick this up. And this one I know it was not Venice's best album. With their best popular song, Smells Like Teen Spirit. And that boy was showing his Winnie on this picture. Rock was so good back then. And 
I don't like no doubt, so I thought we're not pit this time. And I've heard of Hey Baby on there, but... Da Sorry, just to know the background. I apologize. I've only heard of Hey Baby. Um, Keep on Dancing. And, um... Uh, and one of their other songs, too. And when I also got the CD... This... This disc is sort of dirty. If it still plays fine, I'll keep it. But if not, I'll get rid of it and stick to it on digital download. And I know Grand Stefani is on this. Is in is in this band. This band went up till 2012. I like one with public, so I thought why not pick this up. And all the songs I heard on there are All the Right Moves, Secrets, and Good Life. And I might, and I might get one Republic Native sometimes. But like I said, I'm only collecting some 2013 Drew Percent titles. And here's the songs on there. I like red hot chili peppers, so I thought when I picked this up. And I like California, 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 California. And I also heard of Danny California and Snow Hey Ho. Hey Ho. Got two more CDs. We're almost done. And this is the evolution of Robin Fick, by the way. I've only heard of his songs S.X Therapy and Blur Lines. His biggest hit, Blur Lines, on the radio once. The disc is pretty dirty, so... Yeah. And I had to clean that off so I could play it. And this just has a poster on there, which I don't feel like showing as well. And finally, the last CD that I got. This is a good song right here, Chasing Cars. Which that's a great song.
And there you have it guys, that's it for my DVD, Blu-ray and CD update for September 7, 2020. Hope you guys enjoy. This is Glenn Spenny, SC2001. See you later.